Hey everyone, this is Caleb from Common Motor, and today we'll be covering the four differences you need to know when installing our regulator rectifier combo unit on your CB175, CL175, SL175, CB200, and CL200 family of motorcycles. Be aware that this video is not intended to be a full installation video, so be sure to also watch our full reg rec installation video that we'll link in the upper right hand corner or down below in the description. First, you need to know where your regulator and rectifier are on your motorcycle. The regulator is where you will find it on most vintage Hondas of this era, which is under the battery box. The rectifier can be a bit harder to find. Honda mounted it actually inside the frame under the rear gas tank mount. Remove your OEM regulator and rectifier from your motorcycle by loosening the bolts and unplugging the wiring harness connectors. Second, the new regulator rectifier does not plug right into the harness. This is because, well, they have the same plug. In addition to the plug difference, the harness is also too short to reach any suitable mounting locations for your new reg rec combo unit. The best solution, so you don't need to modify anything, is to make a harness extension using the wires and connector off your old rectifier that you just removed. To do this, cut the wires at the base of the original rectifier and strip an eighth inch off each wire. You'll also need to shorten the original wire sleeve or just use new heat shrink. Crimp the new male connectors we include with the regulator rectifier onto the wires. We highly recommend picking up the proper crimping tool to do this job correct. Watch our how to install motorcycle harness connectors video if you're unsure how to do this. Once you have the connectors crimped on, slide them right into the correct spots in that harness connector. Get this right the first time, since they are incredibly painful to remove if you mix any up. Third, where should you mount the regulator rectifier combo unit? You can mount it anywhere, but we find the best place is in the holes on the frame that used to hold the original factory regulator. You will need to file the mounting holes in your regulator rectifier combo unit to be able to fit it just like all of the other Honda motorcycles we support. Before mounting the reg rec, remove the black wire from the harness sleeve. Once you have it filed, bolt them into the factory holes on your frame. Once you have it mounted, you can use your freshly made harness extension to connect the reg rec to the original rectifier plug by running the wires through the hole in the center frame member on your motorcycle. Take this severed black wire and plug it into the black female connector that used to connect your original regulator. Fourth, you need to know where the wiring harness is grounded on your CB175 and CB200 motorcycles. Honda actually had the harness grounding through the original rectifier, so now that we are removing it, we need to add a new ground to the harness. The simplest method we found is salvaging the green wire that already has a bullet connector crimped onto it from your original regulator. Cut the green wire off and crimp on a standard auto store ring terminal. Once you have your grounding wire made, you can hook the bullet into the green female connector that the regulator used to plug into, and attach the ring terminal to the closest bolt on the frame. We find this is usually the battery box bolt. Be sure if you have a lot of paint on the frame to sand the frame for a better grounding connection. Once the install is finished, hold on to the remaining bullet connectors from the regulator. We like to salvage stuff like this because it makes your life a lot easier when making repairs in the future. Be sure to watch our full installation video for the complete lowdown of installing a regulator rectifier combo unit on your vintage Honda. 